Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. This is your boy, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat here, and I'm jumping right in. But before we jump in, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and hit that bell. Thank you for your continued support. I'm jumping in because I just finished watching the Las Vegas Aces versus the Chicago Sky. Angel Reese's record ended the last game, and the question was, how would this team respond after the record ended? They're in Vegas. Vegas is a very tough place to play. It's one of the, they're one of the best teams in the league. They've been playing really, really, really well. You're playing the best player in the game. So the question is, how would Chicago respond? Flying fucking colors. Flying fucking colors. The Chicago sky got worse during that streak. The Chicago Sky tonight played their best game of the year. Their best game of the year. And the reason they played their best game of the year is because they gave that ball to Kennedy Carter. Kennedy Carter. Remember the name Kennedy Carter. She should have made you remember when she forearmed Caitlin Clark. Kennedy Carter is a freaking beast. Kennedy Carter finishes with 34 points on 14 of 24 shooting. Remember, she can't make jump shots. Everything she does is mid-range in. She is a pit bull who gets to the rim at her will. Lightning, lightning quick. 34, four rebounds, three steals, two assists. But here is what's so impressive about tonight's game with Chicago. They're up huge in the first half. They were up by 21 in the first half. The Aces were stuck in mud. Kelsey Plum shows me why she's not very good. Why she's highly overrated for what she's supposed to be. You are the third best player on your team, and you go 4 of 17 from the field for 8 points, 0 of 8 from 3. She shot 4 air balls from 3. She hit the side of the backboard on a 3. It it, it was an abomination. Why she was even in the game in the final 3 minutes. They get a steal. Oh, I'm sorry, it was a run out. And Kelsey Plum is trying to shoot the ball over Camilla Cardoso, flipping the ball over her head. The delusion of what what did she think she was going to do on that play? What did she think she was going to do at the time of that play? There was, let's see here. They were, at the time of that play, Uh, it was a minute three to go. It's 88-83. Sky. Dribble the ball back out. Set something up. There's a minute to go. Rushing to flip some freaking impossible shot over your head. And then, on the next possession, Asia Wilson misses a point-blank bunny layup trying to go for some Euro step. And the person in front of her is Kennedy Carter, who's five foot eight. She misses. They miss back-to-back layups. Why Kelsey Plum took hers, I have no idea. Get that damn thing set up. Get that ball back inside and run a play. A game that could have been 80. Um, and then Jackie, Jackie Young missed a layup about a minute before 30 uh, with 227. She misses a wide open layup. They missed three layups. Two wide open layups that would have had this game at least 88-87. But the sky were up 21 at the half in the, in the second quarter. However, as the sky does every time, as they did versus the Liberty, they find ways to blow leads. They go on these ruts. They they, they stop doing what they're doing. Uh, they blew the lead. They're, the lead got down to four in the first half, I think it was. It was seven at halftime. They pushed it back up to double digits in the second half. The lead was at one point. By, they were up 12 at one point, a couple times in that second, 13. And yet it's 69-56, and in the final minute of the third quarter, the Aces run off six straight points, and it's a 69-63 game. The Aces come back, take the lead multiple times. Sidney Coulson's making plays. 
They went into a zone. She gets a couple of steals. But this thing was back, back and forth in the final five minutes. This is a very, very impressive win for Chicago. Very impressive. Why was it impressive? Because with three minutes to go, they're down. They're down 80 to 79. Asia Wilson just knocked down a free throw. But Kennedy Carter takes over the game. Sorry, 79-78. 79-78, um, Vegas. Kennedy Carter takes over. Bucket, lead. Bucket. They, they, uh, it's 80, 87 nine. Bu uh, Bucket to give them the lead at 87 nine. Bucket to give them an 82 seven nine lead. Tiffany Hayes hits, Hayes hits, a, hits a layup, makes it 82 81. Bucket, Kennedy Carter. By the way, Kennedy Carter is being guarded by Tiffany Hayes. She's giving her the business. Jackie Young misses a layup. Come back, Kennedy Carter. Bucket, 86 81. Plum comes in for Hayes because Hayes turns her ankle. Maybe misses a shot. Angel Reese gets a big offensive board and throws it up sideways. It goes in. Great play by her. Great, great play by her. Um, and they're up seven. But let me tell you something, man. I mean, this was just like, it was Kennedy Carter. Kennedy Carter. I think Kennedy Carter had 10 points in the final three minutes. Took over the game. Completely took over the game. She was that girl. She was her tonight. She, she, Nick and I have been talking about her. She's a beast. She's a beast. Is she going to make everyone around her better and get come, get a bunch of assists and rebounds? Nah, not really. But she can score. There's no one that can stop her from scoring. So I don't know why the hell she was still sitting for 15 minutes last game. I don't care if she had three fouls. I don't care what she was going through. You do not sit her for 15 minutes. That was a major mistake by Teresa Willis. Period. You don't sit her for 15 minutes. Are you crazy? Not while they're blowing you out of the building. That's insane. But here is what we want to talk about besides that. Asia Wilson finishes this game with 28, 28 and 14, five blocks, three steals, dominating performance. But she had a bit of the, she missed, I counted four layups, four layups. She missed a couple of bunnies that like you can't miss. Chelsea Gray was non-existent. Jackie Young finished with 17. But Kelsey Blum, Tiffany Hayes was great off the bench with 19, but Kelsey Plum was atrocious. So, yeah, this was an interesting situation for the Aces because, you know, they they um they got outplayed. They got outplayed. But here's what I want to talk about. Angel Reese is coming off of her double double streak ending. Angel Reese, there's a massive difference in how today's game was played. They weren't forcing it to her. They weren't trying to get her the ball. It's just playing. Angel Reese can't play in the post. I, I think we have to accept this. She's not a post player. She's a she she's a she's a grinder. She does the dirty work. She gets rebounds. She had ten rebounds today. She had ten boards, thirteen points. She scored a few, but most of her points. She actually scored half her. She had eight points, I think, late in the third quarter, late in the fourth. She scored most of her points in the fourth quarter. She got a. a some free throws late. They fouled her a couple times when they're trying to foul. And she hit some free throws. But they weren't forcing the ball to her. They weren't. It wasn't like there was some pressure to get her the ball. Her plus minus today was fantastic. She was plus 26. But the game did not run through her as they've been trying to run it through her the last few games. The game ran through Kennedy Carter and Marina Mabry. That's what ran through. It ran through the two of them. So this thought process, she finished four of 10 from the field. Initially, she was off. She was one of five in the first half, missed three layups, uncontested layups, missed, took a jump shot from the elbow, from the elbow of the free throw line that just was just not good. Shouldn't even take that shot. They were daring her to take it. And she took it and she bricked it badly. But playing in the flow of the game and not demanding the ball, and not thinking you are something that you're not. They didn't do that as much. There was a period where she was doing that demand of the ball thing in the third quarter primarily when she had a smaller player on her. But it doesn't matter if someone's smaller than her because she has no post skills. She has no post skills. However, for the most of the game, her stuff came off of rebounds. 
She got a put back on a, a rebound. She had a nice entry pass for a layup that she was wide open. Her put back late in the game. Great play by her. But that's how Chicago has to play. Chicago cannot play through Reese. They have to play with her in the in in the in the flow. There's no flow in dumping it into her because all she's going to do is catch the ball. If she's on the right hand, if she's on this side, if she's on the left hand side, she's going to go with her left, dribble around, and try to scoop it up and miss. She had, I think, three shots blocked. Of her, of her four of ten, I think three of them, two, at least two were blocked, but potentially three. So, yeah, when you say miss layups, yes, I include, yeah, you missed layups. You, you're getting your shot blocked shooting a layup because you're bringing the ball down to your hip. That's what I keep saying about bad basketball. You're not an off- you're a bad offensive player. You're a bad offensive player, and you get your stuff when you're in flow. Kept getting rebounds, doing the grinder dirt, grinding dirty work. Four of ten. She only took ten shots. She took seventeen shots the last game. She should never take seventeen shots. That said, she played well. She played well. She did her job. She's not the star of that team. Kennedy Carter is. Andrews may get the views. Kennedy Carter is the star of that team. And if they play like they if they play through Kennedy Carter the way they play tonight, they're very tough. They're very, very tough. However, they shot exceptionally well for their team. They were shot 40, almost 49%. They shot 31% from three. They don't typically shoot anywhere near that. Um, they out rebounded the Aces. The Aces played small, which was surprising. I don't know. If I missed the first three minutes. Uh Kia Stokes is 6'3. I don't I didn't see her. I didn't see her or notice her on the floor most of the game. Um number 41. I didn't notice her most of the game. They they tip they really went inside uh to Angel. Angel when they had Alicia, Alicia Clark on her, who's 5'11. I didn't understand that decision. Um you can't I don't think you can go small. I'm going to guess that Kia, Kaya Stokes got hurt. I'm, I, I, I missed it. I watched the whole game, but I mean, maybe when I turned away, I, I, I missed it. That said, big time win by Chicago. Big time win. Amazing performance by Kennedy Carter. Give it to him. Big time win. And um, that's a big win going into the break for them. Tomorrow's the last couple games of the, before the break. And I know Indiana's got, is playing at Dallas tomorrow night, so I'll be watching that one. Minnesota hosts Atlanta at a 1 p.m. game. I don't get these 1 p.m. games for this for the WNBA. It's a Wednesday. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Anyhow, be, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. Come on now.